One thing about guide tone lines is they really challenge your knowledge of chord voicings because you're not going to go with the patterns that you've learned, the voicings that you've learned, because you're trying to stay within a certain range and go a certain direction. And that's even more difficult when you're taking the bass note, the root note, out of each chord because so many people only know chord voicings from the root up and can't find a chord voicing unless they put the root in. And certainly when I was starting to do three note voicings, I would play a voicing that had the root in it and then I would just not hit my thumb and that would allow me to play a three note voicing, but really I couldn't find that independent of the bass. I needed to see the root in order to find it. And I still see the root, I'm just able to ignore it quicker. Um, anyway, a further challenge of that would be to maintain one pitch for the entire 12 bars uh, and put that note on top of each chord, like a pedal point. Pedal points are usually thought of as bass notes. So this would be a pedal in the lead. Again, it would kind of work in a shout chorusy sort of way, but also as an accompanist, it's kind of interesting to keep a single pitch on top. Uh, you might find a soloist focusing on that pitch. If you're, you know, if you're being insistent with that note, they might follow you in that respect. And in a B-flat blues, I'm just going to put that B-flat on top of the one chord, but we'll make the one chord a 13, so it's not just a boring 7 chord. And then the E-flat 9, it becomes the fifth of that chord. I'm going to precede the one chord then with its related two chord, the F minor 11, as if I'm playing a 2-5 in E-flat, or a 2-5 of the four chord. So I play an F minor 11 with the 9th and the 11th, and then the B flat 7 flat 13. Again, no bass notes, no roots. We'll let the bass player take care of that. So that first line. Four chord again with the fifth on top. That's the flat 5 of the sharp 4 diminished chord. And again, the root. It becomes a sharp nine of the G7 chord, the five of two, and I'm also putting the sharp five in that voicing. It's the seventh of the two chords, C minor. Now the five chord, you'd think you'd want the third to create that dominant tension, but I'm going to make it a sus chord because I can. If I'm the only person comping, that's okay. doesn't mean the soloist can't play the third there but I'm trying to maintain a pedal tone, so I'm going to make that sus so I can leave the B-flat for all 12 bars. So by making the 5 chord a sus, that works. Let's see how it sounds with a bass note. Now you could put any note on top. You could put a ninth on top and see what happens. It becomes the 13, becomes the fifth of the F minor, then the ninth, then the 13th. Then you might leave it on an E flat. Make it work over the E diminished if you want. Put the nine on B flat. It becomes a sus note. And I don't like the sus note as much on a five of two in a minor, going to a minor chord. So I might change that one. The root of the two chord, fifth of the dominant chord, right? So that might work, the 13th. Works really well. As a matter of fact, and you'd be surprised why the 13 works so well. It happens to be a chord tone in every chord in the, this particular tune, the 12 bar blues, with jazz chord changes. Here's the fifth on top. Right? It's the ninth of the E flat chord. If I was going to go to E diminished, I'd want to change it. 
but instead I'll make that that second four chord a, a, a dominant uh, four chord with a sharp 11, and then the nine, uh, the fifth on top of the B flat nine, the flat seven on top of the G seven. Here's an interesting thought. G seven sharp nine, and C minor 11. So with the 11 on top, again, I'm playing that in minor 11 even though there's no third in it. Here'd be a minor 11 with a third, but you know, a lot of times in a minor chord, just leave the third out, someone will play it. <clears throat> even if you don't. And then here's an F7 sharp 11 with the F on top. You listen to the inner voice leading. Of that last 2, 5, 1 in a blues. And then continuing up in the inner voices. I'm having voice leading going on uh, underneath a pedal tone on top. So let's try all of those things. Four choruses in a row with bass line. Mm -hmm. 